Legend of Total here, and today we've got a rating your one woman doomster covering Miao Ying, where she may actually give Malice Darkblade a run for his money here, because her base ward save is at 89%, just 1% below the maximum there. Uh, she's got passive regen through the Jade Blood Pendant. She does have the Sword of Cain, which is what we allowed for Malice Darkblade to have as well. The Trickster's Helm, and you've got the Bejeweled Dagger, which is basically essential if you want to make. Um, now you're a one-woman doomsday. And just in case you don't know, the way to get this is through the caravans. Um, I believe you just have a 2% chance of obtaining it every time a caravan succeeds. So it could take a while, or you could get it instantly in a campaign. So that's just based on luck. And then we've got the catalytic kiln, which I don't think that's really going to make the... Oh, hang on. It does cause uh, damage in an area around... Okay, so she's basically a mortis engine as well. Okay, well that's something that Malice Darkblade doesn't do. And also you've got the uh, the Great Celestial Banner, which you get through the tech tree. All that providing huge amounts of ward save. Now, the battle that we've gone up against here was um, generated by console commands, according to what the guy said. Which I'm fine with, because this is truly a good test. we got RK on the Everchosen, Colex Zanita, Azazel, and Bellacor all coming in here at the same time from their respective factions. So yeah, he just teleported them all over here to, to launch this attack. Uh, I'm totally fine with that. Alright, let's jump in here and see how Miao Ying goes. Alright, I went and had a look to see at the traits as well. It, it isn't trait managed because he's actually missing a couple. You know, you can usually tell when it's trait managed when you've got like 30 traits in a row and they've got all the good ones. Now, the thing that makes Miao Ying, and, and also Xiao Ming, I always forget his name, um, potential candidates for the best one-man Doom stacks in the game, is the their ability to have two pools of health regen. Not put two pools of health. That's where Malice kind of has a little bit of an edge. But they've got two pools of regen. So when they're in human form, they can regenerate 75% of their max health. And then they go into dragon form, and then they can regenerate another 75%. Master of Huge amounts of health, way more than Malice Darkblade had. Really good stats, really good anti-large and anti-infantry. Yeah, yeah. And they're also spellcasters, which Malice Darkblade is not. But the thing is, Malice Darkblade just hits so hard. But well, let's, uh, let's just see how we go. Basically, if Miao Ying can end this battle at, at least close to full health then she may actually um, take the cake for, uh, take the title for um, Strongest One one Woman Doomstack. Now, all four of these armies can come in at the same time because they're all different factions. And they're coming for us, so there's no chance of waiting. Uh, oh, actually, no, we do because we're stalking. Must have gotten snitches trade or something. I give ascent. Setting forth. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. How likely can you duel Archeon? What's his... Let's have a look at his stuff. Alright, he's, he's not that tough. Your stats are better. So the problem is, if you're fighting... That's probably going to do next to nothing. Yeah, if you're fighting in a bunch amongst infantry, Archeon will get the edge. So if we could isolate and have a duel with him, that would be ideal. Actually, you know what? Let's go dragon mode first. Uh, which is transform into the dragon. Take out their flying characters. Let's do that first. So that's Azazel and Bellacor. So start with Bellacor. Azazel has just entered the battlefield. If they want to double team her, I guess she might be able to handle it. But we'll see here. Bellacor's stats are significantly lower than hers. She went down to 85% ward save. Something must be lowering her damage resistance. Well, maybe it's got something to do with being a dragon. I'm not sure. But whatever the case is, Bellacor's going down pretty damn quick. Can't really use any spells here. I can use Talon on the Knight, but now's not the right time for that. 
Alright, I kind of feel like Azazel might actually be more of a challenge than Bellicorp. But it would be better to take out one of them first and then focus on the other. Don't try to damage both of them at the same time. Focus on Bellicor, he's almost gone. Because once Bellicor's gone, his ability to dish out damage is nullified. Okay, one down. Right, she, get, she gets the hunger, not necessarily regen, so she has to be in melee in order to generate um, her health back. Could have gotten Isabella's defeat trait. And she clearly didn't. That's okay. That's a hard one to get. I don't expect everyone to do that. Or really anyone to do it. Alright. She's taking a bit of damage, but she's taking out half of the lords. Alright. Now, if we can get a nice big blob going on here, Talon of the Knights can finish them off. Alright. Let's see here. Let's see here. They don't have any more flying units. Okay, I don't think landing would be a great idea. I think what would be better is transforming back into human form. Way harder to hit. And we get a bunch of abilities here that can really help her out. Alright. Let's try to... Uh, we got a fair bit of magic. I could use a um, Talon of Night now. Alright, let's pop that... Just one of those down. It's only, four, uh, it's only 12 wins of magic. It's not so bad. Isn't Kolek supposed to be here? Where is he? Yeah, there is. Seems like their lords are just sort of backing off at the moment. That's good. Now would not be the best time to fight them. Alright, so that Talon of the Night did a good amount of damage. Well, I think she might actually give Malice Darkblade a run for her money. Run for his money, I mean. Because yeah, we've also got the uh, physical resistance on top of the, um, actually not that much. Yeah, it's back to 89. But that would give us maximum physical resistance. Don't need to go get Wurzag's defeat trait with her. Okay, Archeon's in there now. If we could focus on him, that would be good. But in a big blob like this, that can be tricky. Those Spirit Leeches should be doing next to nothing. And one thing that she can do that um, Malice Darkblade can't do is when they're in a blob like this, she can get out by transforming into a dragon and just flying away. That gives her a huge advantage. Because don't get me wrong, Mal Malice Darkblade can take all of this on. That's not a problem for him. Okay, she has gotten a few hits on Archeon, but hasn't managed to get through his um, barrier. But here's the thing, because of the Mortis Engine effect, he can't regenerate his barrier. And she has... She's still at maximum health. No, she doesn't need that. Flesh of Tony's useless here. Talon of the Knights is... A similar level of power to... Um, Dwellers Below. Probably a, a little bit less. She's getting kills. Codex just hanging back. We'll be back. She's hanging on just fine. All right, Archeon's. Um, Barrier's all gone now, so... Well, he's still a threat. 
But he's not going to regenerate that while he's taking damage from the Mortis Engine effect, the Catalytic Kiln. Plus that gives him extra weakness to fire, and she does not do fire damage, so that's not that useful, but... Yeah, it's a bit weird, she doesn't actually do fire damage. I don't think she does fire damage as a dragon, either. Good, racking up loads of kills, mostly on Marauders. Biggest concern is all the single entities. That's not, not going to do much to them. The thing is, we got to get rid of all the chaff, so that we can actually have these duels. Because they just get in the way. Okay, she must have got knocked down, not to be cast. But, she has just not taken any serious damage at all. Going up against a very heavily melee focused faction with very high melee. Look at that! Curlic Sunny has got 158 melee attack at the moment, and he has dished out no damage. Of course, he only just started getting into the fight. And because she's so small, I guess, he just can't quite get in there. Ready to defend. No more reinforcements to come in, because it's four different factions. Not that cost didn't take. Seems to do pretty good against the, um... Let's have a look here, how well it does against, like, single entities. Did that not cast? No, I didn't cast. She must be constantly getting knocked down. Yep. What if I overcast it? I think it'd be best just a regular cast. Three hundred thousand damage done so far. Yeah, it doesn't do very much to the uh, single entities. He's barely even got a bloody nose. Absolutely slaughtering them. Just not taking any damage whatsoever. Well, all the chaff's gone now. Now it's just all these single entities left. Alright, let's try something. Let's go into dragon mode again. And let's try to uh, have some duels. So what I'm going to do is fly up. And... Try to get some of these guys isolated a little bit. So that we can have some more duels. Specifically with Colex, Sanita, and Archeon. So let's try to get them out of there. Because there was just too much of a big blob going on over there at the moment. But yeah, guaranteed, if she lands with this, she'll, she'll take a lot more damage. Alright. So what I want to do is get really far away from all those troops. Come over to here. This looks like a good spot. Land here. Alright. They don't seem too interested. Oh, she's stalking. Right, of course. Just want to get their attention. Bring them over here. Don't want to fight these other guys. Just want to get their attention. That's it. I'm okay with fighting both of them at the same time, but let's just do it over here. Maybe I'll pop this down, just to hold them back. Maybe. See how this goes. Alright, turn around. Face him. Alright, we'll start with Archeon and take out Kolek next. Although Kolek's got a lot more melee attack. Maybe we should take out Kolak first. 
Oh yeah, look, Curling's going down like a bitch. Getting some damage done on us though. Might actually be better on foot. But the problem is, she'll get disrupted constantly on foot. And she got two loads of regen anyway. So that's not a problem. Come on, one more hit on Kolek and he's out of here. He's taking some damage there. Okay, Kolek's gone. Alright, RKO next. Alright, may actually need to go back on foot. Alright, I think we're really close to the army losses, so let's not pop down the uh, the next talent of night just yet. And let's just see if she'll regenerate while in this um in this form. Main thing here, try to get yeah, she's getting okay on. We kind of fought Kolek to our disadvantage there because of that massive anti-large that Kolek has. But the whole point of doing that was to isolate him, not necessarily to worry too much about stats. And yeah, she's she's regenerating. Plus, in this form, we can we can um, use heal magic if we need it. Arkhan's just about got like one more hit. Definitely a lot easier for her to land hits when she's in dragon form, but it's also a lot easier for her to get hit. Okay, Archeon's down. So all four lords were essentially dueled by her and taken out. That's pretty impressive. Mouse Darkblade didn't have that opportunity to fight four powerful lords. He took on dwarfs in the test that we did. Probably shouldn't do any more of these. It's not really doing that much damage, just because it's not that effective against monsters. Alright, well, we're at full health, but I imagine that she's used up a fair bit of her regen, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into dragon mode. So that she can take some damage and therefore also regen that damage in this form. Because there's unbreakable units here, what we can do is if the battle outcome is discarded and the army losses happen, it's not going to be over. She can transfer them back into human form so that she can still use her um, healing through magic if she needs to. I think we're a little bit stuck here. Um, yeah, she is stuck. Okay, well... Well, that's just a bug. <laughs> okay, well, you have to land back again. It's all right, you're a bit... I can't do anything about that. Just gonna have to land. All right, well, two more minutes and she can use the dragon form again. But she's quick enough that she might be able to outrun most of this stuff. 
Chaos Born. Nope. Don't want to let it get away. Alright, let's try this dragon form again. Hopefully it works this time. No. Seems like if she's really badly crowded, they, um... Yeah, look at that. She can't... Ugh, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Can't even tell her to land. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I don't know, Somebody, something's bugged out with her dragon form. It might have something to do with the fact that they're like crowding around her, so you kind of get stuck before she transforms. Might, that might have something to do with it. The problem is I'm trying to go into dragon mode to get out of some of these uh, fights. Alright, army losses are starting to kick in now. But we have to do f army losses four times over, because there's four different factions. She's still at full health. I have no idea how much health regen she has left. I'm thinking she might be getting close to her... Max heal, but I have, I have no idea. Okay, she's actually got 5,390 more health left, so that's actually heaps. Yeah, sometimes it shows it, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. Okay. Alright, she got heaps. We're, we're good, we're good. She didn't even get close to using up her health regen. And there we go. Alright, I gotta admit, I think we've got a new winner for one man Doomstacks. Malice Darkblade is amazing, don't get me wrong. But I just think that Malice Darkblade wouldn't have done that well. He would have won the battle, for sure. But I barely used the dragon at all. All I really used the dragon for was to take out... Um, Bellacor and Azazel and Miao Ying has the option to transform and then transform back again with a short delay whereas once you go full Zarkan there's no coming back off that also another thing and this is kind of trivial but Cathay can actually handle taking the Sword of Cain a lot easier than the Dark Elves can L largely due to public order it's nothing to do with income they're both fairly rich, rich. In fact, the Dark Elves might actually be richer. But the Dark Elves have a major public order problem in terms of especially on the higher difficulty levels. Whereas the Cathayans do not. Well. I so. I think we're going to have to say that Miao Ying is now the new queen of one, one man Doomstacks. Um, yeah, there, there is a, a new title holder, which means that Zhao Ming might actually be even better. Depends. Uh, in terms of how many Malice Dark Blades her predecessor is worth, I'm going to say that she's worth 1.1 Malice Dark Blades. Like, it's close. It's close. Malice Dark Blade could probably have done that and been, maybe been at full health at the end of the battle. But I'm sure he would have taken more damage. And his options were a little bit more limited. Like, she was able to duel some of the best duelists in the game, no problem. Alright, let's have a look at her, um, her traits. Okay, so we already saw her equipment. Alright, we have a look here. Like, if you were trait managing, you would get rid of this, and this, and this, and this. Well, actually, that's not too bad. This, this, that's easy to get. Um, yeah, get rid of that, get rid of this. Get rid of that. Uh, Nakai is in Cathay, so that's actually not too difficult for her. You'd get rid of that. 
That's in Cathay. That's not difficult. That's easy to assume. Yeah, you'd get rid of that. Could take that or leave that one. That's a good one. That's where a physical resistance came in. Um, that one's a bit of a travel to get to. Yeah, but that's a good one to get. It did get Crocgar's defeat trait. But yeah, it doesn't have all of them. The main ones that we're missing here, I think, are the physical resistance ones. Um, specifically, Wurzag and... Um, what's his name? Uh, Sigvald the Magnificent. Those are the ones that are missing. But yeah, he was clearly trying to get the, um, the defeat traits at the end of the campaign. Played it normally to begin with, and then specifically going for um, defeat traits, but missed a couple of them. Uh, but didn't really matter too much because you're at the max uh, ward save anyway, so... Um, pretty much pretty much perfected. The only, the only thing that you could have done is get the regen trait, and he did mention this in the email, and also, if you get the regen trait from Isabella, so just in case you don't know, in order to get Isabella's defeat trait in this game, you have to have the vampire um, endgame crisis activated, and you have to destroy Sylvania before the Endgame Crisis um, occurs. And then when Sylvania comes back, when the Endgame Crisis happens, Isabella will return as a lord and a hero, allowing you to get the defeat trait. And then if you get that defeat trait, you should also get Imric's defeat trait to counteract the uh, fire weakness. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. I think she's now uh, the, the new queen of one woman doomstacks has now beaten Malice Darkblade in that regard because that was absolutely insane. Like, this guy used, had to use console commands in order to put up an appropriate test. Went up against four very powerful legendary lords. Malice Darkblade, the test that we did, he didn't go up against any legendary lords. Just went up against loads of dwarfs. So, if Miao Ying had gone up against that dwarf and army, she would have wiped it out near instantly just with her, um, with her, her talent of, of the night. Wouldn't even need to go dragon mode. So, yeah, I think she's worth 1.1 Malice Darkblades. I think Malice is a better duelist by a little bit, but she's better at endurance. She's got way more health than Malice Darkblade, and better at taking out huge numbers of chaff, which Malice Darkblade is good at, especially when he goes full Zarkan, but just not quite as good. But overall, I think she's worth 1.1. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what you think of Miao Ying. Now, this also requires a lot more effort than... Um, Malice Darkblade to achieve, mainly because of the Bejeweled Dagger. You've only got like a 2% chance of obtaining that with a caravan, um, a successful caravan. So you could go 100, 200 turns into your campaign and never get it. That being said, it, you could obtain it in your like second or third uh, caravan. You just, just don't know. Um, all the other items are not particularly difficult to get. Um, sort of cane, you know, whatever. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys, and we'll see you next time. Later.